Our spate of recent sumo events began with the NHK Charity Sumo Day, which this year saw donations made to earthquake hit Ishikawa. While the exhibition was predictably gentle in tone, it was still good to see Takakesho fight for the first time since his January pullout. Kotonowaka fielded questions in his role of new Ozeki. Ono Sato was roundly cheered too. But the biggest draw remains Sumo's only Yokozuna, who rounded off the event with a win to befit his status. <laughs> The following day saw the Fuji TV knockout event with a $20,000 prize for the top division winner. Takayasu triumphed here two years straight in 2019 and 2020. and started things off with such ease, he afforded himself a mid-bout smile. The defending champion was Dai Esho, awarded a first round bye after Kim Bozan's withdrawal. The knee-pained Kazakh has not been seen since Tochinoshin's retirement event. Endo, born in the ravaged Northwest, made it through to the semi-final. But the Fuji Trophy was scooped by Ho Shoryu, who felt he had a mock point to prove just 24 hours before his Ozeki promotion party. There he claimed his knee rehab was going well, and that with the aid of some sturdy tape, he'd resumed practice bouts the previous day. I couldn't film his moment of glory as it clashed with this retirement event. Ex Sekiwake Ichino Jo waved goodbye to his top knot, two kilometers from the sumo hall, having cut all ties with his stable. Several of the sport's biggest names, including Hakuho, Terno Fuji, and trophy winning Ho Shoryu, were not in attendance. But coach Otowayama was there, along with Ozeki Kirishima. The final cut was made by Ishiura's father, who was Ichinojo's high school coach. Just hours later, the 14th Hakuho Cup took place in the Kokugikan Sumo Hall. The biggest surprise there was child giant Yuya Okayama's failure to take gold in his final primary school bout. Yoki Sasaki, the only kid who can so much as try to live with him, finally got his glorious reward for all those soul-destroying defeats and pipped Okayama to the gold. The more prestigious junior high competition was taken by Yuki Ibata, poetically from Ishikawa and inspired by Ono Sato. The beaten finalist was the oldest son of ex Ozeki Kotomitsuki, Aiki Tamiya. The man involved in handing out the prizes, by the way, is Teruno Fuji's ex-attendant Tomi Sakae, who has now made it big on TV after playing a somewhat annoying Mongolian character. Hokuseho, for the record, missed this event for the first time in years, 
We assume he has trouble walking in the early days after his knee operation. I have not, as of yet though, found anyone who can deny the stories that he's also suspended. And some of the claims against him long predate the tabloid reports. Sumo's media team, I understand, when asked point blank by Shincho reporters to deny that Hokuseho is being probed by the compliance committee, could not do so, instead saying we'd rather not comment. While the Hakuho Cup was being disputed, Hoshoryu's Ozeki party took place. His grandparents and Sumo Chairman Hakkaku among the guests of honour. From this week, I will train yet harder as Ozeki in a bid to make Yokozuna, said Hoshoryu through the mic to the 850 guests present, very much echoing the speech he gave at his Kashiwa promotion party in December. Listening to that speech was Mitake Umi, just a couple of hours before his own wedding party got underway, with 500 guests in attendance. When I saw Horshoryu, I was like, I really wanted my day to be a double celebration. I wanted an Ozeki party too, Mitake said. I at least wanted to see in this day on the back of a winning score last time. You may not believe it, but I still haven't given up hope of climbing back to the second rung. And on the woman he officially wed more than two years ago, he said, Whether I win or whether I lose, she's always right behind me, helping me relax and cooking me decent food. Valentine's Day, meanwhile, saw Midori Fuji hold his wedding ceremony at Tomioka Hachiman Shrine with which his stable boasts a special connection. His Nagoya-born bride he initially met at a 2017 stable party down in that city. During Covid times the two were kept apart, but reunited at the stable bash held on the day of this man's Nagoya title win. Their daughter was born on October the 4th last year. Saturday, meanwhile, saw Hokuto Fuji publicly fate his tying the knot, though he really did so four years ago. For so long had Covid delayed this event that it seems he put off a knee operation to finally push it over the line. He's now vowed to plough on with that suspect knee and do his best for March, as he tries to claim an Emperor's Cup before his career fades out. But his record for most delayed sumo wedding party was smashed by Chiyo Shoma, whose event on the very same day came 62 months after registering his papers back in December 2018. I've been through three hip operations now, Chiyo Shoma revealed, and had my wife not been by my side, I might have packed it all in by now. He received a suitable cash prize boost by taking the second tier crown at the Fuji TV event. Finally, Sunday the 18th brought us Chio Taidu's long-awaited MMA debut, which ended in defeat by decision. Quite frankly, I worried he'd be knocked out, so this represents a success in my book. Taidu freely admits he did not train all out, but still stood up to Kosuke Kindaichi's stinging shots and pressed forward into the danger zone throughout. His outrageous pre-match interview, which he claims was purely for sales, will go down as the stuff of legend. Please do not take it literally. The satisfying point was that he stayed true to himself and his character with all he did for this bout. Claiming he did this all for a sick friend, and staying magnanimous in defeat, even chuckling with his victorious foe long after the judges had ruled.